founder of Blitz.js, Brandon Bayer, recently proposed a pivot for the Blitz framework. There have been a lot of discussion surrounding this possible change. And essentially, so in summary, the pivot proposes that Blitz break away from the Next.js fork and then completely go on to become an uh, independent developer toolkit. Now, one of the reasons we love Blitz is in how easy it is to develop within the Blitz ecosystem. It's an amazing developer experience. But unfortunately, Blitz has not grown as much as the founders would have liked. Um, as you can see here, Next.js, which Blitz is forked from, uh, is sitting at roughly 2 million downloads per week. And Blitz is sitting at just about 5,000. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of this discussion. The important thing to know here is that Blitz is going to pivot. And it looks like they want to get this going in the middle of January. So let's quickly look at the features of the proposed toolkit. So you will still have the zero API data layer, which means that you don't have to explicitly go and build APIs to fetch data and to mutate data and to create data. This will still be done in a very easy way. The only addition to authentication will be Java web-based tokens. And then um, there will be the addition of advanced permission-based RBAC authorization. Logging uh, on both the server and the client side. Full stack environment variable management, web sockets. You can have real time updates in your UI. If someone clicks a like from their side, you will see the like pop up on your client. So that's pretty cool. Cron jobs, scheduled jobs. Quite sure yet what the difference is between those two. Um, right, so there will be job queues, data migrations, mailers, email integration, which can be pretty cool because at the moment you kind of have to set this up and build out your own mail integration if you're using something like SendGrid. File uploads will also be very cool if that sort of comes out of the box. Caching layers uh, might become important for people that are building really big applications. Billing integration is one I'm very excited about because that will probably mean that you will have to do very little lifting by yourself to build out a SaaS product and then better support for service-oriented architecture. Um, just a quick note on how the new Zero API data layer setup will work. So usually this just magically worked. Uh, there wasn't any explicit declarations in your project on how this API data layer worked. If you created code that you scaffolded, um, things just worked. If it was placed into the right folder structure, it, it seemed to have worked. But now it looks like they're going to take an explicit route. Uh, I think for a lot of people that gives them a little bit more certainty and trust towards the framework. And that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys. Blitz is going to pivot. And I want to know from you, should we continue with the Blitz series that we've been doing? If you guys want us to carry on with the next fork Blitz, let me know. Otherwise, we can wait until middle Jan and then start from scratch with the brand new Blitz toolkit. In the meantime, I want to hear from you what you guys want to see on this channel. There are many cool frameworks. Let me know. This is your channel. I want to make this fun for you. Yeah, remember, uh, I think I've tried to establish that the channel is focused on helping beginner developers like myself get to grips with all the new technologies out there. Yeah, just kind of try and help you guys understand this a little bit better and myself also learning a lot about this in the process. So let me know and I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a wonderful Christmas. Take care.